Dr. Zaki, what is the second most important aspect of Islam that we should convey to the non-Muslims when giving dawah? After Tawheed, the second most important aspect of Islam is Risalat, talking about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The moment you prove to him about the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our shahada is, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, there's no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the messenger of Allah. So after you convince him about the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, take him away from shirk and idol worship, then you have to prove to him about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I've given the talk on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the various religious scriptures. Time will not permit us to speak in detail. I'll just give a few references, not mention the quote, just the references. How to prove to the Jews and the Christians about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you read the Old Testament, the prophecy of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mentioned in the Old Testament. I'll just give the references. Details you can go to our website, irf.net. The Prophet of Muhammad is mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. The name of Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. He is also prophesied in the New Testament. There are many, I'll just mention the main ones. Prophet Muhammad is prophesied in the Gospel of John chapter number 14, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse number 26. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. And there are many prophecies. That's what the Quran says in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157. They follow the unlettered prophet who is mentioned in the scripture, in the law and the gospel. And Allah also says in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the son of Mary, he said to the Bani Israel, I am sent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a messenger to the Bani Israel, confirming the law that came before me and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come whose name shall be Ahmad. And we know Ahmad, peace be upon him, was another name of Muhammad. Regarding how to convince the Hindus, which are the third largest religious people in the world, Hinduism. Numbers, first is Christianity, second is Islam, third is Hinduism. In following, but naturally, is Islam number one. Again, if you read the Hindu scriptures, there are hundreds of verses in various different Hindu scriptures which speak about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'll just mention the main important one. I'll just give references. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been prophesied in Bhavishya Purana, Parvatri, Khandatri, Adhetri, Shlokas 5 to 7. He's also prophesied in Bhavishya Purana, Parvatri, Khandatri, Adhetri, Shlokas 10 to 27. He is prophesied in the Kuntap Sukta, which is Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 127, verse number 1 to 14. He is prophesied in the Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 6, as well as Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 7. He is also prophesied in Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 53, verse number 9. And you can go on and on giving references. One important prophecy is the prophecy of Kalki Autar, which is in the Kalki Purana, chapter number 2, verse number 5, verse number 7, verse number 9, verse number 11, verse number 15. And it gives details about the name of the father of Prophet Muhammad. It is mentioned as Vishnu Yash. If you translate it, it is a servant of God. That is Abdullah, which is the name of the father of Muhammad Sallallahu His mother's name is given as Amina. That is one who is peaceful. It is mentioned he'll be born in a city of peace, talking about Makkah. He'll be born in the home of the person who's the chief of that city, that is the family of Quraysh. He'll have four close companions, talking about the Khulfa Rashidin, and on and on that angels will help him in the battlefield. The full talk I've given Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Hindu scriptures alone. So this was in short how you can convince, then you can convince the Buddhists that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned the Buddhist scriptures, in the Parsi scriptures and the other scriptures of the world. The first is Tawheed, number two is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.